every single morning I wake up and my first thought is holy crap I am so excited to make a freaking latte I love my Nespresso more than a lot of things I've ever had and I have a shopping problem so I've had a lot of a lot of different things in my past and this one might be my favorite thing ever I feel dramatic but it's possible it's possible I wore I wore a cute pajama set to bed last night if you don't have a cute little matching pajama set you should because you feel cute going to bed you feel cute when you wake up it's like a win-win you know last night I was like you know what today I'm gonna <laughs> I think it's too early for me to start recording myself. <laughs> okay, guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Leila Saad. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, I decided that I'm going to do a little bit of a vlog for today. Um, I, it's my day off. Right now, it's currently 7 a.m. because I woke up early because I'm crazy. Um, but I have actually a lot I need to get done today. Not for work but for all this content I have to bring you guys and I'm really excited and I love making content um, even if it is something creative and sometimes I'm in like a creative block today I'm like chipping away kind of at some things that I have like creative blocks on so um, but it'll be fun so right now I'm going to do my skincare routine make some coffee and probably just start trying to plan this content. <laughs> Despite whatever the products are, my morning routine is pretty much the same where I use a cleansing oil, a vitamin C, and some kind of oil. I'm actually going to let this soak in and brush my teeth. You guys know how to brush your teeth, I hope. Alright, we're back. Um, I was thinking of a fun fact while I was brushing my teeth. Um, but I'm going to put on this antioxidant oil, facial oil, again from Mad Hippie. I really like this one. Fun fact about me is my two front teeth are fake. Um, when I was in seventh grade, I went to Canopy Lake Park, which is an amusement park for those of you who don't know. And... I was on this new ride that we had for like the first time. I forget what it was called, like Wave Runner or something. It's like up and down and back and around, I don't know. And the end of the ride came and everyone's like seatbelt things went like Except I was like still stuck there, mine didn't budge. And I was on a seventh grade date. Um, embarrassing. Um, and mine did go up and everyone was getting out and I was stuck on the ride and they were about to like let people on and I was like, what the hell? So naturally I push it up and it started moving. Like I pushed it, it was like and I was like, okay, and then I got it to the top and it stayed and I went to go get out and like I don't know, hit it, and then it slammed back down. And then it cracked my two front teeth, split my lip open, and I'm gushing blood. And all my friends were like, oh my god. And I like walked to the, the person running the thing. And he was like, oh, the accent's that way. And I just go, oh. And I just open my mouth and it's just all this blood. And he's like, oh, okay, sure. Um, we'll get that figured out. So anyways, they brought me somewhere on like a go-kart and um 
I was like begging my mom to take me to the dentist <laughs> or the hospital. She's like, you don't need to go to either of those places. I was like, okay, <laughs> sounds good. So we went home and I had no two front teeth and I had to go to school. <laughs> my mom was like, you're not missing school. We'll get your teeth taken care of. I'm like, are you kidding me? I don't, what? I feel like most people's <laughs> parents would have been like, Oh honey, I know, you don't wanna to go to school like that, you'll get bullied. My mom was like, nope, see you later. There you go. So then over the course of my years, I always have to go to the dentist and get them fixed. And it's been a long struggle with my teeth. And I paid a lot of money um, to get them finally fixed for like the last time. And then I was at a party. I just put on, sorry, oh my God, this is so gross. It's like, it's just like drying, but it's the Ordinary Caffeine Solution. I feel like in the mornings, I usually use this one, and at night I use a different one, but I don't really even know if it works or not, but I kind of like it, just putting something under my eyes. Anyways, I know this is what's killing you. I was at a Darty and drinking a like Corona bottle or something, and this bumped into me and my Corona bottle went, and it chipped my tooth and I haven't gotten it fixed so I'm um I'm one of those people it just like takes a lot to get me to actually do something when I need to like go to the doctor go to the dentist anything really important all right I'm clean I love the sunshine. Sunshine. I have this robe on from Savage Fenty Rihanna. And it's got a hood. It's got pockets. It's like sweatshirt material. If she still has it on her site, I will, um, put it in the description below, but I don't know, I got it kind of a while ago, beginning of quarantine. Gonna make an iced latte today. So I mix them and then I froth them. Espresso's over ice. For anyone with an espresso, I use the Bianco Legere for the iced. It's like a double shot, essentially. While that's going, I'm going to take this Aurora Morning Defense. Um, I've been trying to take this every day recently because it's vitamin C, vitamin D3, zinc, selenium, and then mushrooms like calming um but just because of going into winter I like seasonal depression or just it makes me so miserable to be in the cold i try to stay on my vitamin d3 super super important um in the winter for anyone who's not living in like <laughs> california all the time i love you guys can't wait to come and live with you all there eventually um so I take this to say stain. Yeah. so freaking much I love you so much I would die for you so at the end there you're probably like Layla where did that extra foam come from this is my little tip you're like stop <laughs> I do just almond milk and I hot froth a little bit frothier and I put it on top so it's like the frothy the frothy top actually way better out of the straw 
I'm just gonna put on some makeup. I just did a makeup of like all the products I'll be using, so I'll link that video in the description below if you wanna check out the product specifically. I'll show you again, but like, Born This Way Concealer by Tarte. True Skin Serum today for a fuller coverage. And I'm using a bloody beauty butter because I'm in a, not a rush, but I'm just trying to get this done as quick as possible. In my other video, I used my hands because I had my sweet time. Content down, but on red lipstick, some harsh bronzer, really harsh, but it won't, <laughs> won't look as bad in the pictures. With this Aries top on, it's a really cool company. It's all like Zodiac based, which obviously I love because I love Zodiac signs. So I shot some stuff for this Aries shirt and a Libra, of course. Now I'm gonna kind of eat some breakfast um and yeah okay gonna make some breakfast um i don't know what i'm gonna i i don't know what i want to eat i have some blueberries okay guys i'm gonna make some uh banana banana waffles where I'm going to legitimately black out, throw everything in a bowl, and then put it in a waffle machine and hope for the best. All right. I have one banana that was frozen because it was going bad. And then I put it in the microwave for like 30 seconds to a minute. Now I'm gonna take some rolled oats. I know what you're thinking, Layla. You've been living there for like two months. You still don't have a kitchen table. No, I don't. I'm going to put about a cup and a half, a cup, cup and a half of these rolled oats. An egg. Boop. Crack that. Um, and then I'm going to mix it around. Okay, and then I'm going to take some baking powder and just kind of like tap it. Like literally just tapped it. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with my baking soda, which I guess I'll show you since I didn't show you. Beep. That's it, a tap. It's probably like a half a, half a teaspoon. And then I'm going to take my cinnamon and just in throw all that in there. Normally I would blend this, but I hate my blender. So this is what we're working with for consistency currently. What I'm going to do is take some of this light maple syrup and just put it in the batter. I just drizzled it. It's probably like two tables, a tablespoon maybe. Probably like one whole tablespoon. I feel like it's a little bit liquidy. I'm gonna put a little bit of flour. I have this gluten-free one-to-one baking flour and I'm just gonna put one eighth of a cup. I think that's like two tablespoons. <laughs> um, just to like 
kind of give it a little bit more oomph, I guess. All right, this is what we're working with, and this is what I'm going to do. I have this coconut oil spray. And then I'm just gonna Okay, bada bing, bada bahum. Now I'm gonna take my blueberries that I ate half the container while figuring out what I wanted to eat. And hey, just gotta tap those bad boys <laughs> in here. More the merrier. And then sizzle, sizzle. While that cooks, I'm going to make another coffee. This coffee is gonna be a little bit different. I'm still gonna put it over ice, but it's gonna be more coffee than a latte. Um, so kind of just like an iced coffee. So I use like a full cup of coffee pod and just froth for the top. <laughs> All right, now that I have this whole freaking sheet in the cup, my little pot, and again, I'm just gonna put it over ice. I uh, seem to have worked better than I thought. I'm gonna keep that in there for a little longer. Same cup as my other latte because I don't like to do dishes. Oh my God, it looks so pretty. And I'm just doing almond milk, cold foam, cinnamon, lots of cinnamon, more cinnamon, I love it, and some hot foam. Oh, God, are you kidding me? I love you. so happy. I love when it's nice out. I am literally too good to myself. I love, I love you. And this bad boy, woof. Honestly, so good. Like, perfect consistency and everything. I'm glad that I, um, added the flour. So I moved in September from a place I really enjoy living to a place that I don't enjoy as much, which is where I am currently. So kind of playing around with the idea of moving and finding a new place, but there's a lot of different pieces like that would have to be involved and it's just not as easy as I was hoping it would be. So that's kind of something that's been like weighing in. It's just like a hard time right now for so many people, but just like having trouble finding those small joys each day is like literally the only thing that can like keep me going. And like at my job, things are slow. I'm in sales for a luxury health club, so it's just difficult right now. So really have to power through like on that end. Thankfully, like my content and everything like that has been ramping up for me, which I love and that's really exciting. So that's something that's been bringing me a lot of joy, which is good. This weather this week is definitely helping. I don't know, I've been feeling a little off. Had a hard week, like many people did, are having. I know that this will probably take me a while to upload, so. It's literally so nice out, oh my god, I'm so happy. And back to more content. I am so excited, you guys. Look at this. I just got the best package ever. Nope, does it work? I thought it did. Oh my God, I'm holding them all. Okay. I just got the best package ever from We. We, we. We, 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 we. 
Oue. Oue? I actually don't know. And I'm a big fan, so I should figure it out. I'm gonna call him Oui. So, they, I, I told them I was interested in some of their styling products. They sent me over all of their styling products. So I finally might be able to get my hair under control. So I'm a big fan of their, if you follow me on Instagram, I've posted about it before. I'm a big fan of their thick hair shampoo and conditioner. I've used this um, for a while and I really like it. So before I blow out my hair, I use this. There we go. They sent me over a mini of that. Their wave spray, which is great. So I naturally have really wavy hair and it gets so puffy and out of control that I feel like this is going to just add some texture and make it look purposeful rather than like an absolute mess. Um, their hair oil, which is great. I haven't tried their hair oil yet, but I always keep a hair oil on deck. Um, when I dry shampoo my roots, I end up putting a hair oil on my ends. I don't even know if that makes sense or if that's good for your hair, but I find that when I put dry shampoo in my hair, it looks really dry. And I just add this to kind of add some shine to the bottom. They sent me their volume spray. So I'll have to kind of try this out and see what this does for my hair. Like to lift but hate the weight. Like to lift but hate the weight. I think this will be perfect for my bangs now that I have curtain bangs. They always just fall flat. But I would love for them to be like whoosh. So volume spray. And then lastly, but not least, probably one of their most popular products of all time, um, one of their best sellers is their leave-in conditioner. So people talk about this, they post about it all the time. I've never tried it, so I'm excited. Mist lightly through damp hair prior to brushing and or heating, thermal protection control and conditioning. So I'm freaking so excited and happy, happy girl. Hey. Don't know what time I ate, but I'm gonna eat again because I'm so excited because I have some sushi. Whenever I order my groceries, because I don't live near a grocery store, so I always order them off Amazon and get Whole Foods. I always get a little cucumber avocado roll and I'm always so excited because I like forget about it. it kind of skip me on the ginger. You guys watch TikTok, 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 TikTok is the funniest shit ever. Like it is so freaking funny. I don't even understand how people are that funny. Like I'm just not that funny. Like I will never be that funny. And like I think I'm funny. Like I laugh at what I say. Usually because it's freaking stupid. But I just like can't believe that there's people that are that funny out there. I'm not like very talkative today. I don't know what to talk about today. I'm in a weird limbo. I love sunshine. Oh my God. I love sunshine. I am just sitting here editing on my phone. It's 1.40. 236. I think maybe I need to take a nap. I'm gonna make myself an aptogenic latte um, with the wild ones. Highly recommend if you're looking for um, an, an apt <laughs> adaptogenic latte. I'm gonna just get one of these. There's one in here called Yoga in a Cup. That's the one I want right now. Yoga in a cup. Yoga in a cup, stress and anxiety relief. We all could use that. It's not like cocoa. It's like cinnamony, peppermint leaf. I'm just gonna mix it with almond milk. It's literally so frothy. This is like mostly froth. Reading this book, almost done. I've been reading it for so long. I'm the slowest reader ever. So, but really like it. 
a lot. I'll read the back for you. Who are you really? What would it be like to be free from limitations and soar beyond your boundaries? What can you do each day to find this kind of inner peace and freedom? The Untethered Soul offers a simple, profoundly intuitive answer to these questions. Whether this is your first exploration of inner space or you've devoted your entire life to the inward journey, this book will transform your relationship with yourself and the world around you. The Untethered Soul begins by walking you through your relationship with your thoughts and emotions, helping you uncover the sources and fluctuations of your inner energy. It then delves into what you can do to free yourself from the habitual thoughts, emotions, and energy patterns that limit your consciousness. Finally, with perfect clarity, this book opens the door to a life lived in freedom of your innermost Whoa. Love that. I got a sweatshirt. Excuse me. Shh. Trying to go beyond. Thank you. Thank you. I'm trying to pack to go to Kyle's. I always get stressed because I hate packing. Do you guys have artists that just you could just listen to I like forever <laughs> I'm like crying every time I hear this song I cry <laughs> but it's like my favorite song <laughs> it's so good it's so good I have like chills every time I hear it it's so fucking good it's so good <laughs> makes me cry every time I saw it live I was Literally crying like a little freaking baby. Like, water works. <laughs> I think I'm gonna call this video, um, just because I'm gonna go on the train. It's getting dark out, which kind of sketches me out, but, um, and then I'm gonna be a Kyle. So, I, uh, again, I don't know really what I recorded, or I feel like it was either really long or really short. Um, kind of sporadic. I had nothing planned for my day. Um, but as always, thank you so much for tuning in. It really means so much to me to know that there are people who care that I put up a video and watch it all the way through. It means a lot to me. So thank you very, very much for tuning in. Please make sure you are subscribed. If you like this video, give it a like. Follow me on Instagram at Layla Jane Saad. And I will see you next time. Thank you again.